Hey you guys, so today we're going to go to Sephora to see what's new at Sephora, what just recently dropped. Y'all, there's been so many like new launches. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Um, Also, I do need to pick up some goodies such as sunscreen and a liquid lipstick because as much as I love gloss, when it's windy, pff, it's a mess. Um, And etc. So without any further ado, let's go to Sephora. Looks like Cora just launched something new. So it's a vitamin C serum. Ooh. Then Caudalay. Oh my gosh, what is this? A beauty elixir. Cutest packaging ever. And we have something from Sephora Collection. The Scene E serum. The Ultra Glow serum. Cool. Alright, let's keep looking. Oh my gosh, I just mentioned how I'm looking for some sunscreen. And I keep hearing things about Super Goop. I actually own two products for them already. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, this pharmacy have deodorant now. That's hilarious. And then another brand, Bioessence, came out with a Sequalin and Bamboo deodorant. Lawless Beauty. What is this palette? Or just these colors look so familiar. Here's Natasha Denona. Oh man, I was so about to get this palette, the Bloom palette, but I ended up not doing it, but y'all, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. If you guys have tried any of her latest palettes, let me know in the comment section below. Do you like it? Should I get it? Let me know. All right, so now we're looking at Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I heard she just released, yep, some new eye primers. Wow, cute packaging. Oh, is this new, the Shimmer Body Oil? Oh, how fun is that? So if you guys don't want to try the full size, you can get a sample size for only $13, but the original price is $23. And this one, if you're curious, $38. I'm in a mark. Oh my god. NARS section. And these palettes are really pretty. This one especially. Look at that. Now you guys know I'm looking for a liquid blush. So maybe these. How cute are they? So this is definitely an option. Oh, here's a stick one too. Very glowy though, huh? A lot of shimmer. So here's a cute Milk Work It set. Includes their best-selling Kush Mascara and then I guess Kush Infused um, Blush Stick and Highlighter Stick. Both cream products, so definitely something I might consider, but I still want to look around, but this is cute just to like try out all the products. And it's only 25 bucks. Oh, okay. So here's other lip and cheek um, cream sticks from Mill. Love that there's more options and not just this one color. Huh. So I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is new. The Watermelon Brightening Face Mask. And then they have the Watermelon Brightening Serum. Oh my god. I don't want to smell it because these are samples and to only imagine how many people have touched it beforehand. Bet you they smell both amazing. Alright, now we're looking at cover effects. Whoa, what was here? Glitter drops. Customizable glitter. Oh my gosh. Love that whole thing. Um, I don't know if cover effects recently launched any new products. Oh, now we're at Becca. Huh. Mm -mm -mm. <gasps> Glow Elixir Radiance Boosting Serum to Hydrate, Nourish, and Brighten. Oh, this is cute. Wonder why it's green. Okay, maybe that's new. Oh, and they have a new shade for the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Okay, Becca. Yes. If you guys are curious, the Glow Elixir is 48 bucks. And this one, the new shade, um, $39. All right, now we're looking at Tarte. Let's see. Hello. <laughs> um, I know they just launched their new palette. I don't think it's this one, but this is a really pretty one. Um, what is this one called? Unleashed Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, ooh. If you love shimmers, definitely look into that palette. 
I know they also have the creaseless concealer, but that's like kind of old. Just um, maybe reformulated and new packaging, updated packaging. So it's just over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're at Too Faced, and I completely forgot they released a new mascara. You guys, look. Look at the setup for it. <gasps> Oh my gosh, the damn girl mascara. Oops, excuse my language. Full on weightless volume, curl that stays lifted for 24 hours. Hum, 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 hum. But does it really though? And finally, they have it in store, the Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Ooh, they expanded their, you know, Better Than Sex line collection. Okay, right behind Too Faced is Benefit, so let's see if there's any new products from them. Mm, they still have jumbo size hula bronzer, but what else do they have? So I recently bought the Gimme Brow because I've heard so many good things about it, but I have to test it out because I also have the CoverGirl um, small brow gel, and y'all, I see some similarities. Now we're at Buxom, you guys. I've been loving their, um, I think it's a full-on plumping, not lip cream, lip gloss. Where is it? Yeah, the lip polish here. I personally own... Oh, wait. My bad, you guys. It is the lip cream. And I personally have been loving the shade... This one. Dolly. So I'm not going to go too much into the new hair care, but look at these new products from Borigio. They look like cold pressed juices. And this is the Be Gentle, Be Kind Banana Coconut Nourishing Superfood Shampoo. <gasps> Oh my god. And this is the matcha and apple replenishing superfood shampoo. Oh my god. Well, I guess if you want your hair to be smelling nice, definitely try these out. If you guys have tried any Briogeo products or shampoo from them, let me know. I'm always looking for new shampoos to try. This is the matching conditioner. And this is the matching um, conditioner for this one. Oh, here's La Mer, you guys. Oh my gosh. I don't even mess with La Mer because I am not spending $80 on one single product, y'all. Like, look, 95 bucks for their tinted uh, moisturizer. What? All right, you guys, just left Sephora and we got the goods. All right, so when I get home, as usual, I'll show you guys oh, what I... All right, guys, I am back home. Now I'm going to share what I bought. So actually, these other two bags, because why they're small and why they didn't put everything in one big bag, is from previous trips to Sephora, but I didn't share with you guys what I bought those times, so I thought I would show a collective Sephora haul. So let's start with this bag. Oh, oh, that's right. So I redeemed 500 points, and I got this dry, board, dry bar. <laughs> hair essential set so it includes the hot toddy triple sec detox dry shampoo and detox dry conditioner i am definitely bringing this with me to the beach i also got the hourglass what is this oh the translucent setting power um powder this is one of their new setting powders it's supposed to be really good we'll see um and it's also supposedly doesn't have a white cast i mean hence the translucent part but I don't know. I'll definitely test it out and let you guys know. And, oh my god, I forgot I got this. And I got the watermelon lip balm, which, I mean, why not? It's summer. I was trying to open it for you guys, but no, there's a little sticker. But, um, actually, give me a second. There we go. How cute is that? Oh, wow. Yeah, and it does smell like watermelon. So that's what I got all in the first bag. Now the second bag, I'm pretty sure I just got one thing from this Sephora trip, but we'll see. Oh yes, okay, so I bought the Huda Beauty Neon's Eyeshadow Palette. And I got the one um, called Neon Pink, because I know she came out with three. And y'all, I cannot wait to play with this. Actually, let's open it up together so I can show you guys what it looks like inside. But I am obsessed, like literally, no pun intended, with her um, palettes, her eyeshadow palettes, her little mini ones. Not only are they super affordable, but they're also super pigmented. I literally use the Warm Brown Obsessions and the Mauve Obsessions every day, like every time I play on makeup. And this is what it looks like inside. You guys, ah, how pretty is that? And then there's a little mirror. You can see me. Hello. <laughs> but y'all, what? I hope you guys can see what I'm seeing. 
look at that freaking beautiful cannot wait to play with this like i want to put all of these colors in my inner crease actually that's what convinced me to buy this because i actually wasn't going to get it as much as i love her obsessions palette but um the sales the sales associate the sephora sales associate she had one of the shades in her inner corners and i was like oh i have to get it i have to and then oh oh yeah wait wait did i buy two of these oh no 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 okay and then, sorry y'all I was having a brain fart and then I got the benefit gimme brow and I got it in the shade not six was it six? Oh yeah six because the Sephora makeup artist she recommended because my eyes are or eyebrows are naturally darker I should get the darkest shade which is six so got this I did mention it in my earlier clips of this video now for the final bag and today's Sephora trip so for this trip, I got, of course, I mentioned it to you guys, the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Apparently, this is their bestseller. And I really, really hope, y'all, with my skin tone, it does not show. Love sunscreen. I mean, just for everything, like all the health benefits and stuff. Um, but a lot of the times, they give me a white cast. And, yeah, not cute. So, I'm hoping this works out for me. Uh, we'll see we'll see so I got that and then I got the Clinique moisture surge since I will be going to the beach next week I mean all these products actually I got for the beach but um this one in particular just because I'm sure my skin will be super hydrated or dehydrated so this will come in super handy I like to also sorry <laughs> Also, I know this says overnight mask, but I do like to apply this um, during the day too, just because it's so thick and nice and yeah, it's good stuff. And my final products are these little cute mini milk makeup sticks. So the first one I got, you guys know I was looking for a cream blush or just a liquid blush. And I found this one and it's a lip and cheek cream stick. Thinks this will come in super handy. It's in the shade Work, which is this beautiful, like, rosy shade. I think this will complement my skin tone, hopefully. And just look, you know, give me a little natural blush, natural tint to my cheeks and lips. So I'm excited to try this one out. And then, of course, I had to pick up this one because it's so cute. <laughs> you guys, I really wanted all of them just because they're all so cute. But I was trying to be realistic and thinking, okay, you're going to be in the beach. Hot summer days. What do you need? And so I picked up this watermelon. What is this? The Brightening Serum Stick. I thought all of these products will be super nice for my future beach days in freaking ah in two days y'all i cannot wait i cannot wait so yeah here's an overview of all the products that i got from all of my three sephora trips and also let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to try out any of these products in particular i might be doing a get ready with me um for my beach day and definitely be using these products um possibly this as well so definitely stay tuned for that but let me know if you want me to review a particular single product all right you guys well that concludes the video for today hope you guys enjoyed coming to sephora with me coming shopping and picking up these goodies as well as seeing all of the new makeup products well not all of them but a good a good bunch of them and yeah give your girl a thumbs up if you did and if you guys want to see more of this face as well as my get ready with me for my beach day and future product reviews um and many other type of videos definitely press the subscribe button down below it's red join the family become a bestie and turn on post notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video all right guys i love you guys so much and hope to see you in my next video bye